In this tutorial, I'll talk about how to run a test for a difference in proportions using the randomization method in StatKey. And for this example, I'm going to be using uh, example or exercise 4.134 from uh, Unlocking the Power st of Statistics by the Lock 5. And this problem talks about a, an experiment. Uh, in which 40 participants are trained to solve problems in a certain way and then asked to solve an unfamiliar problem that requires fresh insight. Half of the participants were randomly assigned to receive electrical stimulation of the brain while the other half, which would be, constitute the control group, received sham stimulation as a placebo. So what we want to do is look at the data that we have in hand and then run a randomization test in order to determine whether or not electrical stimulation of the brain helps people solve a new problem that needs fresh insight. So let's go to the test for a difference in proportions here uh, on the far right column in stack key because we have, are comparing two proportions and we need to enter in our data. So we'll click on edit data <clears throat> and for group one let's call that the electrical stimulation group. 12 individuals out of 20 were able to uh, solve this problem that required fresh insight and for the sham group only four out of 20 were able to solve the the uh, problem. So we press OK and we now have our data loaded in so what you'll notice is that we have the summary statistics from our original sample. <clears throat> so it says 12 out of 20, well that's a proportion of 0.6, 4 out of 20 is a proportion of 0.2, and then we have a difference in proportions of 0.4. And what we want to do here is now create a randomization distribution under the assumption of the, that the null hypothesis is true. And here our null hypothesis is that the proportions uh, of individual solving this problem uh, between the two groups is equal. Now notice up here there's a randomization method and there's reallocation and resampling. In an experimental approach, reallocation <clears throat> will be our preferred method, whereas in an observational study we would want to use the resampling approach which is very similar to a bootstrap approach. So we'll leave that as reallocation. And now what we'll do is we'll generate one sample and see what happens. <clears throat> well in this sample we have uh, six individuals in the electrical stimulation group that were able to solve this <clears throat> this problem or ten in the other group were able to solve it resulting in a difference in proportions group one minus group two of negative point two which you can see is plotted down here in the bottom left in the dot plot and we'll generate another sample so that you can see that the randomization sample part of this screen has now changed reflecting a new uh, simulation under the null hypothesis of no difference between groups which means that we're permuting those group labels like we talked about in class and you can see again the original sample and if you hover over each dot you'll be able to see the randomization sample that produced that and we can generate a couple more of these you'll see that the randomization samples are jumping around the null hypothesis value that there's no difference so now let's generate a hundred samples and what you can see is that well this has filled in quite a bit now uh, and we have this unimodal symmetric situation and we could fill this in more and more and let's go to a thousand or two thousand or so in this randomization distribution and ha now that we have that uh, we can think about calculating a p-value and we need to think about what type of problem we have here so what we want to do is test whether the proportion able to solve a problem is significantly higher in a group receiving electrical stimulation of the brain Remember that was group one in the original sample. So we want the, that purport, to see if that proportion is significantly higher than the proportion for group two, which will lead us to want a positive difference. So this is a right tail problem. And now we have to go enter where our value is here. And our value, uh, we can see it there, is a difference of 0.4. So if we hit enter that in, and hit enter, then what you'll see is that we get a p-value of 0 0.011, saying essentially that if the null hypothesis is true and there's no difference between these two groups, there's essentially a 1.1% chance of observing a difference of 0.4 or more. <clears throat> 